So guys, California just announced by 2035, they are outlawing the sale of all brand new gas powered vehicles. So if it's the year 2035 and you want a brand new vehicle, it better be one with zero emissions like Tesla because if not, you're out of luck. So I definitely can imagine some legacy automakers are getting a little bit nervous now, but <laughs> there's one in particular I wanna talk about is Ford. The COO of Ford is posting BS on Twitter that we need to talk about because it's just kind of misleading and kind of like beating around the bush and taking things out of context. It's, it's just a mess. We need to talk about it. So he, he tweeted, Ford is proud to be the only American automaker to stand with California for reduced greenhouse gas emissions. We want to leave a better world for the next generation. What he should have said is that Ford is proud to be the only U.S. automaker that currently is not Tesla because you get it. Like he's basically making it sound like Tesla doesn't exist at all. He's making it seem like Tesla isn't a US automaker and he's making it seem like Tesla hasn't worked their butt off for nearly 20 years to get where they are right now. Come on. Um, and then there's another tweet that has a video. The video is taken out of context. So let's talk and watch. So the video, it says Ford and Cali. Ford is proud to be the only American automaker to stand with California for reduced greenhouse gas emissions. We want to leave a better world. And then there's a YouTube video link, which we'll watch because that's a mess too. And then there's a website, which we'll go to because that's a mess too. And it brings me to a whole other point that I want to talk about, which is their scam charging network, but we'll get there. So let's watch the video first. I'm editing this video, I forgot to mention this, but can we just please talk about how that they're basically pretending Tesla doesn't exist, but there's a Tesla behind them. And when they're taking the picture, the photographer is like literally making an effort to shoot over the Tesla. Like, don't get that Tesla in the picture of the Ford Mach-E because we can't let the world know that exists because we'll go bankrupt. Like, bitch. I want to thank, in particular, a number of manufacturers, automobile manufacturers, uh, that get it and are starting to get it done, led by Bill Ford and Ford. Uh, they have been a leader. Led by Bill Ford. So the fact, this is the governor. I have no beef against the governor of California. The problem is this tweet is taken out of context. He was praising EVs and saying how they're future and we need to be part of the future and they're a huge export of California. Like he was praising EVs. He did not say Tesla, but you, you, knew, you knew that's what he was talking about. Um, and then he says that he wants to commend Ford for being on the forefront of this. But it sounds like, out of context, that he's basically praising Ford to be the holy grail of auto manufacturers in the United States that have to do with less carbon emissions in their vehicle. But uh, they have been a leader in this space. But how have they been a leader? Currently right now, they have one EV, which is like nothing. And they're coming out with the Mach-E, which is two. How are they a leader even in that regard? Like, okay, maybe I do have some beef with the governor too. You know, everyone is just gonna learn to hate me. Uh, they're not a laggard and they're not willing to just suffer the fate of, uh, of a future of dirtier air, dirtier water, uh, and more climate disruption. Uh, they want to lead, and they are leading, with innovation uh, and an entrepreneurial mindset uh, that's leading to more customer choice, that's leading to new technological, technological advancements, and allow them to be on the vanguard of leadership, not just in the United States as a manufacturer, but around the rest of the world. Okay, I lie. I definitely lie. I have beef with the governor. He's basically saying that Ford has all these great technological advancements, and they have, they have the ability to not lead in America, but also around the world. Dude, have you not heard of Tesla? They have plants in California. They're building one in te Texas. They have one in Europe. They have one in China. There's probably one going, gonna be in India. I'm gonna have a stroke. Okay, but now let's watch the part of this press conference that was before this tweet. Currently today, the state has 34 manufacturers of electric vehicles. No state in America comes close. This state 
represents just shy of 50 percent of all the electric vehicle purchases in the United States of America. We have, by one estimate, uh, close to three quarters of a million electric vehicles uh, in the state of California, 726,000 at last count. No state comes close. Our second largest export, rather, in the state of California are electric vehicles. Those 34 manufacturers represent close, those publicly traded manufacturers represent close to one half a trillion dollars of market capitalization, some $500 billion. This is an economic opportunity, the opportunity to transform our economy across sectors, the opportunity to accelerate innovation and the entrepreneurial spirit, the opportunity to bring more companies here into the state of California, creating more jobs. He said there's 34 auto manufacturers that make electric vehicles and it represents 500 billion market cap. Have you looked up Tesla's market cap lately? It's like 400 billion right now. So when he says 34 auto manufacturers, he literally means Tesla is like this much and then the rest is like this. He's not giving Tesla any credit. Like, why do I have a feeling the governor of California and Ford have some kind of deal going on? It just seems like it, right? The opportunity is limitless for the state of California to compete, not only nationally, but to compete globally. This is the next big global industry, and California wants to dominate it. And that's in detoxifying and decarbonizing our transportation fleets. I want to thank in particular, a number of manufacturers, automobile manufacturers, uh, that get it and are starting to get it done, led by Bill Ford and Ford. Uh, they have been a leader. So right there, you can kind of see um, how it led from talking from EVs, talking to how about the goal is converting to a lower emission future. And he says he wants to commend Ford on doing that. So basically Ford has emissions and they're converting to not having emissions. So in that regard, Tesla is just left out completely because they're already doing the best job. Like that's how you have to kind of beat around the bush and figure this out. So this tweet that was taken out of context also has a campaign marketing thing that's kind of also taken out of context. So let's watch that. California asked all automakers to cut greenhouse gas emissions and fight for cleaner air. Chevy, Jeep, and Toyota said no. Ford said yes. Ford is the only American automaker standing with California for reduced greenhouse gas emissions. What they should have said is that Ford is the only legacy U.S. automaker that currently does not have a full 100% electric fleet that is now converting to the, the demands of California. Like, it's so easy that Tesla gets left out of it. And my problem is that Tesla does not pay for marketing. So a lot of the average consumers and people that will one day be buying EVs don't know like Tesla side of it. And I only pray that once EVs get more popular and people start seeing more advertisements for EVs on TV is that they do their research and they come to the conclusion that Tesla is likely going to be the better alternative. Okay, so that's the ad. There's also the website. So if we go to the website, the first part on their website that irks me says our icons are going electric. Mustang Mach-E, Ford Transit, and F-150. And we'll invest more than $11.5 billion in electrification through 2022. If you are so dedicated to electrification, is that the word they use? Yeah, that's a, I've never heard of that word before. If, if you're so dedicated, why are you releasing a brand new vehicle, the 2021 Ford Bronco, that could have been an iconic vehicle as an EV? Like, you are just like training the consumers to be dependent on gas. Like now is the time, like start now. If, if you are, if you want to be the leader of this, why are you making a brand new gas vehicle? I don't, mm, yep. Next, next thing that really triggers me. 
We are delivering North America's largest public charging network. The Ford Pass Charger Network is the largest public charging network in North America offered by auto manufacturers with over 13,500 charging stations, almost 40,000 plugs. So that kind of blew my mind. Like, how is that possible when Tesla has the best supercharging network? I checked their website. So Tesla only has about 2,000 physical supercharging locations and about 17,000 total plugs. So how is it that Ford has this crazy amount in this Ford Pass network? Like something you've never heard of. Have you ever seen a Ford Pass network charger? No, because you know what? <laughs> if you go to their website and go into their Ford Pass network locator, this thing is literally just a culmination of a bunch of different vehicle charging networks. So like plug share, Electrify America, they just kind of like go into this Ford network. Ford has not built anything. They are not really helping contribute to the electrification of the United States. With all these new EVs on the road, like we're gonna need chargers. Ford's doing nothing to help. They're just making a glorified app. And the thing is like they claim that it's free for the first two years, but you know what? A lot of public chargers are free. So let's just do an example like right now on the spot so I can show you guys. So I'm on this, I'm on the Ford website on their, their charging locator and it says Ford Pass Charging Network. So I have that picked. So all of these are in the Ford Pass Network. So let's find one in Florida, in Sarasota. S State Saint Parking Garage, two connections open 24 seven, free, yes. So great, thank you Ford for providing a free service to me because I bought a Ford vehicle, that's great. But you know what? If we go to PlugShare, we can find the same freaking charger that's available to anybody with an electric vehicle. You can see it is a J1772 charger. So any car that has that charger will work. A Tesla can work at that charger because we have an adapter. So the thing that kills me is that people are gonna see that this Ford charging network has so many chargers and they did such a good job and they're so much better than Tesla for this reason, but they did nothing to contribute to the electrification of America. They're, like I said, this, this Ford like charging locator is literally just plug share. It's just finding, finding different chargers. And the thing is like, as an investor of Ford, why would I want to invest in a company that doesn't have their own chargers? Like Tesla having their own chargers, they can make money off of them, you know? Like they kind of own all, it's like, it's called vertical integration, you know? They own all the facets of electric vehicles. Whereas Ford, of course, they're going to just put it off on someone else when they can. And besides that guys, it's like, I feel sorry for all the legacy automakers because at least according to California, they have to make zero emission vehicles by 2035. And it took Tesla how long to get it perfect. And these legacy automakers, I feel like it, they're gonna have a harder time because their whole like structure is already built on gas powered vehicles. They're gonna have to like basically reinvent the wheel and it's probably going to bankrupt some of these automakers trying to get it figured out. Or they're just going to be stubborn and not want to change and eventually get bankrupt anyway because no one's going to want gas-powered vehicles in the future. It's just that simple. So let me know what you guys think in about this in the comment section below. Am I overreacting or is Ford definitely being misleading on this whole thing? Also, what do you think about their, their charging network? It's kind of BS, right? Like the video, subscribe, and do all the things. Bye!